Hey, how's it going? It's me, Monkey Boy Samuel. In this video, I'm going to share how I uh, shave my neck and trim my beard and shape it up. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, usually I always start off by uh, using the clippers and getting a nice line up under my neck. I kind of make the line like right before the neck meets the jawline. It's uh, usually a lot easier to get a straight line that way. I've I've done it in the past where I went up too high and uh, I'm like too far underneath the jaw, so it's kind of hard to see where the line is. I would have to push my head straight up and it doesn't really work out very well but usually it's easier for me to get all the shaving done if I cut off all the rough hair first with the clippers you can do this easily yourself um, it just takes a little bit of practice uh, just remember to focus and uh, make sure you have a good angle in front of the mirror so you can see everything properly. I like to go over it once or twice just to make sure that the line is extra straight. And then I'll, I'll do the other side and try and make it the same as uh, my left side. Um, sometimes it gets a little difficult to uh, angle yourself in front of the mirror so that you can see everything. Um, but yeah, once I've got the line on the back side of the beard close to my ears, you know, I'll start putting my line up right, right, right where the natural line is on my hair. I just cut the, the very bare minimum off so that way I still keep as much of my beard as possible okay and then once I've completed the uh, trimming part with the clippers I'll start uh, brushing out my mustache so that I can cut all the hairs the hairs that are coming over my lip I start cut cutting them off and then um, I'll try and make sure that it's straight and I try not to cut too much of it off. I'll make sure that it's, it's not in the way when I eat something. I'm gonna get hair in my mouth and I'm trying to bite it third day. If you have a lot of hair on your face, you know what I'm talking about. Because I like oh, it. Oh, God, you're so ugly. Man. Thank you. Okay, I take that as a compliment. <clears throat> okay, and then I'll make sure that I I rinse off my beard and I'll start exfoliating. So I'll clean it up really nice because I'm gonna start shaving. You have to make sure it's nice and clean because you know usually when you shave you get little nicks here and there and you you don't want it to you know be uh, you know dirty. So you gotta exfoliate, get it clean, get all of that you know, dirt from the day off of your face. And you don't want too much like uh, oily on your face. Now this is a part where I use my straight razor. I prefer a straight razor when I'm doing the line because you can actually see where the line is because it's nice and straight. Um, but I still do use a regular shaver too. That's just so that I can get all of the extra small little bits of hair but for now I'm going to use a straight razor so I can get a nice straight line. I like to use, it makes me feel good when I see that it cleans up nice and neat. And uh, if you don't have a straight razor, that's fine. You can also use a regular shaver, but um, I would recommend that you use the straight razor so you can see everything that you're doing a lot better and it's easier to make the line straight that, that way but um, keep in mind the straight razor is uh, a little bit more dangerous you have to be careful when you're using it 
just uh, you know I guess be more delicate to the touch when you're you know running it against your skin on your face there's been a few times in the past where I actually got some pretty pretty ugly nicks from that straight razor but um, the more you use it the better you get at it you know uh, some people you know use both left and right hands and they say that's the proper way to use a straight razor but for me I'm good with my right hand I'm right handed so I just prefer to just use my right hand on both sides of my face um, but you know if, if if you think that it's easier for you to use both your left and right on either side of your face then, you know, go ahead and you, you can find the best way that works for you is good you know if you have a method you use that works for you by all means keep doing it that way um, but for the most part I'm just showing what works for me the best See, and then you can go over the back side of your beard over your ears and make sure you get a nice and straight line there and, uh, and it's a little bit hard to see back there you have to really turn your head all the way to the side so you can get an angle in which you can actually see everything back there especially for the straight razor part of it because you don't want to accidentally cut too much off. Um, there's been times where I've done that too, where I cut too much of it off, and um, but I was able to fix it. You usually, uh, if you're good at it, you're usually able to fix it. You know, um, I started growing my beard out at the beginning of 2017. Um, I've only trimmed it a few times. Usually I try to trim it every two weeks, uh, but for this video, I let it grow out a little bit more so that it, it can uh, accentuate the fact that I'm trimming my beard and I can get a good before and af after picture for my thumbnail. And you can see the big difference. Now for the razor part, this is where I just take off all of the extra stubble that I left behind. I don't like using the straight razor for this part because once again it's pretty dangerous and uh, it's a lot easier just to run through with the shaver real quick and uh, take off all the extra stubble that I left behind to leave, leave behind a nice clean neck with no hair. And um, for the most part, I, I'm pretty good at just making the entire beard just look clean. Um, that's that's what I'm aiming for. I'm not trying to do anything fancy with my beard. I'm just trying to get straight lines and uh, make sure there's no stubble on get it looking nice and neat and clean. And um, it works out that way. Then I just try and we have it. 